happy saturday everybody hope you're well it is day what is it tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday day five of my how not to die daily dozen challenge if you saw yesterday's you will know that i failed miserably no not miserably i failed quite happily actually i went out for dinner with some friends we went to a vegan restaurant that i haven't been to before and the menu was not healthy at all um and i had a couple of gins i had i had dessert which i don't think i filmed um and i had a burger and some jackfruit wings and i have absolutely no regrets in that i did really want to stick to this challenge for every meal for the whole week but I also don't want to deprive myself. I know that I'm potentially going home to New Zealand in a month and it's not that we don't have vegan food in New Zealand but we don't have quite the range of restaurants and things that are delicious and amazing so I wasn't really going to pass up the opportunity just because I've set myself this challenge. So today I'm just going to get back on it and I'm going to really really work on being super clean today just to kind of try and make up for some of last night but as i say like no no regrets like life is for living i came to london to enjoy myself i didn't move to london to to you know be on a diet so you know I'm, i've only got a month left so i do have to kind of enjoy my time here anyway i will show you what i'm gonna eat for the day and yeah i'm working later tonight i'm babysitting later tonight so I'll probably take some healthy snacks with me to that and other than that it's raining outside and I don't think I'm going to do anything with my day so this is going to be really boring this is just going to be just what I eat like <laughs> I thought it because it's Saturday I could maybe make this one a little bit more fun since the last one, couple of ones haven't been very fun because it's just been like literally what I eat because I've been at work and now Saturday rolls around and it's raining and the last couple of days have been lovely and sunny Murphy's Law, I tell you. Anyway, show you some breakfast now. 40 grams of oats. We've got a tablespoon of peanut butter and we are going to put in a tablespoon of ground flaxseed. I'm just cooking this in some almond milk. Of course, I have to add cinnamon to my oats. Now I'm chopping up a whole watermelon. Half will be for today and then half will be for another day. Just adding some freshly homemade almond milk to my porridge and this is breakfast. So for breakfast I can tick off two pieces of fruit, my flax seed, my nuts and seed, my spices. One serving of whole grains and three drinks. So I think I mentioned yesterday about cutting out coffee because of my anxiety and I just wanted to give you a quick update about how the first day went. Um, I felt the least anxious that I have felt in a long time yesterday. So I've been quite anxious over the last couple of months with my university enrollments and with this potentially moving home but not actually knowing thing happening and it's just been like consistent I have just had this horrible I mean if you anyone who knows what anxiety is like you know just this like feeling in your throat and in your stomach and the butterflies and you just and it, it can be paralyzing at times like I've had so many things that I need to achieve and need to do um, and I've just been too anxious to do them and that's so that's been the last couple of months and yesterday I well actually the day before I, I thought about it and I was like I think I need to cut out coffee so yesterday that was the plan was I wasn't going to have any coffee in the morning I was going to have some of my coffee alternative if I wanted to or chamomile tea instead 
Um, I don't have any green tea in the house at the moment, but I will still drink green tea. I know it's got caffeine, but... Um, and yeah, I, maybe it's placebo, but I did feel so much less anxious yesterday. I'm still anxious. <laughs> it's not like it's just fixed and gone away. Like, I'm anxious for a reason. I've got things coming up that are out of my control. That's why I'm anxious, but it definitely had an effect. Like, I think... I kind of managed things a bit more and even though I was anxious I was still able to achieve more because it was just less so yeah that works I well it was working so hopefully today continues the same as yesterday because I'm not having any coffee today just going I had a, a rooibos tea with all sorts of spices and stuff um, in it and um, yeah, so that's what I had instead of my morning coffee today, and then if I feel like anything else, probably just have a chamomile, and hopefully I continue to feel better, because anxiety sucks, guys. I'm really over it, I don't want it, but it is the way it is right now, so whatever. But anyway, keeping you in the loop with that, I'll probably tell you more about it as time goes on if I'm still staying away from the coffee it's not that and I just want to be clear it's not that I'm never going to have a coffee again or anything like that maybe I will go back to having my morning coffee every day because actually I love coffee I look forward to having a morning coffee every morning maybe I will go back to that but for now I just think I need to stop until I'm feeling less anxious yeah <laughs> hello darlings it's time for lunch I have got Brown rice, edamame, sauerkraut, gherkins, lettuce, cucumber, and then some steamed broccoli. I made enough so that I have some leftovers for tomorrow. And then I just put a little bit of, what do you call it, soy sauce on there, a bit of salt, because I'm a fiend. And yeah, that'll be lunch today. I think it's pretty. Hey lovely, so I'm just about to head out babysitting for the evening and I'm taking dinner with me. I'm really not that hungry, uh, probably because last night I had such a like calorie dense meal for dinner so my body's just kind of like taking it easy today. But anyway, I thought I'd take along some fruit. So I've got this bag here, this is frozen and it's just from Sainsbury's, two pounds, nectarines and peaches. I think it's 500 grams. Yeah, 500 grams. So I will just let this defrost over the next couple of hours and if I need to I'll just use the microwave if it's still not defrosted by the time I'm hungry and I just eat these out of the bag with a fork and then I've got some grapes as well. I don't know how much of this I'll eat, I can imagine maybe I'll be a bit hungrier by whatever time I eat so I'll probably eat it all. Um, if I get time to I will check in with you again but I don't feel like I will tonight just because um, it's a baby that tends to wake up a lot this particular family so probably won't hear from me so if I, you don't hear from me have a lovely evening and I'll see you again tomorrow. Ka kite.